everyone welcome to another exciting video on cyber security by edureka in today's video we are diving into fascinating world of cyber attacks and their life cycle by exploring the cyber kill chain a model that breaks down how attackers operate and how you can stop them in their tracks so we will uncover the seven stages of the cyber kill chain how it compares to frameworks like mitre attack its evolution and even its weaknesses and by the end you will have a clear understanding of how this model shapes modern cybersecurity strategies so before we jump into the details let's take a look at today's agenda so first we are going to explore what is cyber kill chain and then the seven stages of cyber kill chain followed by cyber kill chain versus mitre attack and then the evolution of the cyber kill chain followed by the weaknesses in the cyber kill chain and finally we will have a look at the role of the cyber kill chain in cyber security so let's get started but before we begin make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest tech content from edureka also visit the edureka's website for various training and certification courses and the course link is in the description box below so first let us understand what is cyber kill chain well The cyber kill chain is a concept borrowed from the military's key chain adapted to cyber security by Lockheed Martin in 2011 and it's a step by step framework that helps organization identify and stop cyber attacks at different stages and this model is particularly useful for defending against advanced persistent threats which are sophisticated attacks that involve recognizance malware social engineering and more The cyber kill chain is all about understanding the attacker's process so that you can detect, prevent and respond to threats effectively. Now that we know what the cyber kill chain is, so let's break it down into seven stages that make up this framework. Here, each stage plays a critical role in an attack. So let's take a closer look. Now, let's break down the seven stages of the cyber kill chain and see what happens at each stage. Stage 1 is reconnaissance. Attackers gather information about the target and this includes collecting publicly available data, scanning for vulnerabilities with tools and identifying potential entry points. Stage 2 is weaponization. Here attackers create malicious payloads tailored to the target's vulnerabilities and they may develop new malware, modify existing tools to bypass defenses. Stage 3 is delivery. This is when the malicious payload reaches the target through methods like phishing emails, exploiting hardware or software vulnerabilities. Stage 4 is exploitation. The payload is activated and then the attacker exploit vulnerabilities to gain access. This often includes a lateral movement across the network. Stage 5 is installation. Here, attackers install malware or backdoors to establish persistent access. Examples include Trojan horses command line interfaces stage 6 is command and control attackers establish a remote connection to monitor and guide their attack and often using obfuscation techniques to evade detection stage 7 is actions on objectives and this is the final stage where attackers achieve their goal such as data theft encrypting files for ransom and compromising supply chains while the cyber kill chain provides a strong foundation it's not only the framework out there One of the most popular comparison is with the mitre attack framework. So, how do they stack up? So, let's compare. So, here we are going to compare the cyber kill chain versus mitre attack. The cyber kill chain is often compared to the mitre attack framework, but there are some key differences. First, in terms of structure. The cyber kill chain has the linear structure with seven stages, while the mitre attack is more flexible and focuses on tactics and techniques in no specific order. Next in terms of focus the cyber kill chain provides a high level overview whereas mitre attack examines the granular details of attack execution now both are valuable but the choice depends on your organization's need and threat landscape as cyber threats have grown more sophisticated the cyber kill chain has evolved to stay relevant but what changes have been made and how has it adapted to modern challenges let's explore its evolution Since its introduction in 2011, the cyber kill chain has evolved to address modern threats. However, attackers have become more sophisticated, often skipping or combining stages. For example, fileless malware and AI-driven attacks don't always follow traditional patterns. Here, attackers exploit newer technologies like IoT, cloud computing, and cryptocurrency. 
This evolution has challenged defenders to adapt and integrate more dynamic frameworks like MITRE ATT&CK. Even with its strength, the cyber kill chain isn't perfect. It has some limitations that cybersecurity professionals need to consider. So what are these weaknesses and how do they impact its effectiveness? So let us see the weaknesses in cyber kill chain. While the cyber kill chain is a powerful tool, it has some limitations, such as limited detection and it focuses heavily on malware but struggles with newer threats like fileless attacks and insider threats. Next is the rigid structure. Not all attacks follow the linear seven-stage process. Next is the emerging threats. Advanced techniques like deepfake phishing and AI-driven attacks require more flexible defenses. And to overcome these weaknesses, organizations should complement the cyber kill chain with other frameworks and advanced technologies. Despite its limitations, the cyber kill chain remains a valuable tool in the fight against cyber threats. So let's wrap things up by understanding how it contributes to strengthening cybersecurity strategies today. So here are the roles of cyber kill chain in cybersecurity. So as I said, despite its limitation, the cyber kill chain remains an essential tool for understanding and combating cyber attacks such as provides a clear roadmap for identifying threats, then helps organizations to design proactive defenses and encourages a mindset of active threat hunting rather than passive defense. And that's it for today's video. We explored the cyber kill chain from its seven stages to how it compares with MITRE ATT&CK, its evolution and its weaknesses. While the cyber kill chain isn't perfect, it's a crucial part of modern cybersecurity strategies. So if you enjoyed listening to this video, Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.